Hello students, this is 1.46. A solid body rotates about a stationary axis according to the law. Phi equal to 80 minus Bt cube. Uh, a is 6.0 radian per second and B is 2.0 radian per second cube. Find first question the mean value of the angular velocity and angular acceleration averaged over the time interval t equal to 0 and complete up to complete stop. And to complete a stop, the angular acceleration at the moment when the body stops. So, according to given problem, the value of angle rotated by the body is given as AT minus BT cube and the values of A and B are also given. These are 6 and 2 radian per second cube. So, phi can also be written as 60 minus 2T cube. If we put the value of A and B, then this equation will be this. Now, differentiating this, we will get D phi by DT d phi by dt is 6 minus 6t square. This d phi by dt is angular velocity. So angular velocity of the body is 6 minus 6t square. And the question is the mean value of angular velocity and angular acceleration averaged over the time interval between t equal to 0 and complete stop. So for complete stop, for a stop, omega will become 0 at a moment. And at that particular moment, 6 minus 6 t square will be 0. So t square is 1, time is 1 second. It means it is clear from this explanation that after 1 second, the particle will completely be stopped. After 1 second, complete stop comes. So we have to calculate the mean value of angular velocity between 0 and 1 second. So in that 1 second interval, we have to calculate the mean. And by definition, we know that mean angular velocity is defined as total angle covered by total divided by total time taken. Total time taken. Divided by total time taken. So total angle covered in this one second interval is if you take t is 0, it will become 0. And at t equal to 1, and for t equal to 1, for t equal to 1, this phi will be 4. And for t equal to 0, this phi is 0. It means total angle covered is 4 radian. And the total time taken is 1 second up to 0, say, uh, 0 say 4 second case interval. 0 say 1 second case interval, 4 radian particle in travel. So 4 radian per second is the angular velocity of the particle. So averaged, the mean value of angular velocity of the particle is 4 radian per second. Similarly, angular acceleration averaged over that same time. Now, angular acceleration averaged over the same time interval for finding this. Again, differentiate this expression of omega. So, if we differentiate this expression of omega, then we will get d omega with respect to time d omega by dt is 0 minus 12 t. And this d omega by dt is alpha of the particle. This is alpha of the particle. But we have to calculate the average. We have to first calculate the average between 0 to 1 second and by definition, similar as the definition of omega, alpha average is omega final minus omega initial by total time taken. Omega final can be obtained by taking 1 in this expression. If we take 1 in the time for t equal to 1, this omega will be 0. Omega will be 0 and for t equal to 0, this omega will be 6. So, uh, alpha will be 6 minus 0 upon 1 second. So, 6 radian per second square. This is average acceleration of the particle. So, average angular velocity and average angular acceleration are these two. The third and final part is the angular acceleration at the moment when the body stops. So, the expression for angular acceleration is minus 12 t. This is the expression for instantaneous angular acceleration. And our question is to calculate the angular acceleration at the moment when body stops. So put 1 in this expression, alpha will become minus 12 radian per second square. So there are three parts in the problem. First is angular velocity mean in that interval up to the body stops. So the total time up to a stop is 1 second. We have calculations in this second interval, the average angular velocity is 4 radian per second and average angular acceleration is 6 radian per second. So besides that, the value of uh, instantaneous angular acceleration when the body stops, so at that moment it is minus 12 radian per second. Yes, that is the problem. Thank you.